Hello everyone, hope you're having a wonderful day as always. So you've always wondered how to add a whoosh sound, like a big whoosh of wind? Or have you always wondered how to add a scratched record sound to your videos? Today I'm going to show you how to do just that, so let's get to it. Now, as always, it starts with the idea. What are you going to be putting it on? What are you going to be doing with it? Yada, yada, yada. So with that said, you now have to find the sound effects. Now, there are places that you could pay money to and subscribe to that sell sound effects. Or you can do like I get most of mine. I get them off of, actually, guess what? YouTube. And it's very simple. Just go to YouTube.com. Open it up. Go to the search bar and type in what you're looking for, like a um, scratch record sound. The main thing is, well, let's start that over. Free scratch record. Record. O R D. Yep. Sound effect and then they come up there you go now just go through and find one you think you want let's just say this one it seems short seven seconds click on it make sure that's the one you want and that's the one that we'll be using so now all you do is you go up to the top click and highlight the URL address right click it copy it and then you can go to whatever program you use to download your videos off of or your sound effects, vice, you know, whatever. I use Streamable a lot. It's www.streamable.com. And then I just, let me get rid of this one real quick. Yes, I want to delete it. That was for another video. Click on the paste a valid URL right beside upload video. Paste it right there. Click on that. Right click and paste the address you just copied. And it will bring up the video. Make sure that's the one you want. If that's it, tell it to create the video. It goes through a little process, depending on how long the video can take just a split second up to several minutes. Then all you do is the little three dots right here. Click on that. Click on download. And down at the bottom, down here, it's going to ask you what you want to do with it. We're going to be saving it, but I want to name it. I want to click on the little arrow right beside save. Save as. And then you can choose now from the pop-up window where you want to save it to. I actually have a folder in mine called sound effects right there that I will save it to. But as you can see, I already have it. Scratched record sound. But if I didn't already have it, Type in the name of how I want to name it, and then go over here, click Save. And then that will save it to your, your place where you want to keep all your sound effects or whatever. If you're just doing it for this one particular thing, then that's fine. You can do it for just that one particular thing. But that's how you get your sound effects. doesn't matter what it is, the scratch record, the wish sounds. Let me show you. doesn't matter what it is, crying baby sound effect, right? Now, I forgot to type in free at the beginning of this, but you get the gist of it. But once you do it, here you go. You can actually get it from actual ones, but if you type in free, I think it will actually change. There we go. See? Baby crying sound effect right there. But YouTube has a, a very endless library of sound effects like that and everything. You just have to type in what you're looking for. And then you save it to wherever you want to use it. Now, once you do that, make sure you have your DaVinci Resolve open is what we got right here right now. And I'm just going to go over here to this blank space and show you how we do it. Now, I already know that I have two car clips, right? 
and I want to put the whoosh sound effect in there so I'm going to drag my clips in right I'm going to play them unedited and you can see how I had already forethought that that's what I want to do I wanted to have it jump from one side of the car to the other or a detail to another detail and have a whoosh sound in there so now what we need to do is get rid of the audio from that so you, there's two ways you can do it you can click on the chain and that unlocks it then you can click on each one and delete it that way just hit delete on your keyboard or right click delete selected or you can just grab the little slider right here as you put your cursor over that line you get a slider you can move it up make it louder or pull it down to zero just do it like that well now looky here you have no sound no audio now let's drag in the other set other video clip that we're using for this today and do the same thing all you got to do is just drag, click on it let me delete it so i can show you click and hold the video clip drag it over put it where you want it and drop it that's all you got to do take the sound out of it and now you have that clip in as well See, no sounds, no nothing. So how do we add the sound effect, you may be asking. Okay. There's two ways of getting them in. You can go up to the top left, click on File. Go down to Import File, and that brings up Import Media. Click on that. And then I'll ask you where you want to go. Then you just pick, like I said, mine is Sound Effects. So I just go down to Sound Effects, and there they are. Uh... There's the crying baby one. I've got several of them in here. The record scratch, the scratch record sound, and the whoosh sounds. So you can do it like that and tell it to open and it'll bring it in right there. Or you can do the drag and drop. Just go to where you keep the stuff at. Sound effects. And just drag it and drop it. Just click it, drag it. Drag it down to and hover over to DaVinci, it opens it up, and then you just drop it up in the top left. That's simple. Now here's the kicker. YouTube is not an audio storage facility, it's a video storage facility. So in order for people to be able to upload videos, sound effects, sound recordings, anything like that, they have to attach a photo file or a video file to it, okay? So what you have to do to separate those two, let's bring in the whoosh sound because that's the first one we're going to use. Now all you have to do is click on the chain and we're going to get rid of the actual video or photo section. Click on the chain that unhighlights it. Click on that and it will highlight it in red. Then either hit delete on your keyboard or right click and then go to delete selected. Now the video part is there because if you don't do that this is what you'll get okay let's just say for instance we want to use that one okay let's drag it over to video and I'm just going to drag it and drop it right here on the end I can fix that okay well you still see the car but that's because the timeline marker is right there over the car but watch what happens so you have to get rid of that video section or that photo section. So the way you do that, you unchain it, then you click on that and get rid of it. It is that simple. Now you just listen to them and find out which ones you want to use. Once you find that, you go over, click on your toolbar, Click the razor. I know I want to use this third one. I want to click to the left of it, click to the right of it. That cuts it. Now I go back over to my cursor, my pointer, my selector, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to select the ones that I don't want to use and delete them. Now here's something I've never told in any of the other DaVinci Resolve videos. And what that is, even though we have deleted the right and the left section of this file, it is still there. Watch what happens if I go take my cursor, go to the left side, and it brings up like a half 
square with the arrow going both directions. If you press and hold down on that left click it, a white box opens up. And that shows you the actual audio file that was there. So I can drag that to the left and watch what happens. It brings up what I deleted. Or I can go to the other side and go the other way with it and it brings up all those. So if you accidentally delete something that you really didn't want to delete or if you're trying to drag a file and fit it into a, a certain size see like let me show you right here like you see how long this video file is right or audio file is it's that long well i can't drag it and drop it in there because it's going to cover up everything so if i wanted to what i could do is make it smaller than that section of audio in video click it and drag it over right i can drop it right in there and I've got dead space, so I can drag it like if it's a music file, I can drag it and make it feel. But that's not what we're after today, so let's just get back to what we was doing. Now that you have it, you need to find out exactly where you want to put it. Well, with my video, I know that I want it to be right where the two clips are separated. So I can drag it on the timeline of the audio, or I can drag it underneath. Well, typically I put music in my video, so I will put it underneath because I'll have the music there and I'll have the sound effect below it. So we won't mess with this for this video. So all I'm going to do is drag it down, drag it over, or I can drag it across, right? It's not hurting anything as long as I don't let go, and then drag it down. And I want the highlight, the high point of that sound effect to be right where they change. Now watch how it sounds. See, it's pretty much dead on. And the same with the record scratch. Drag in the scratched record, go up to the top left, pick it, hold down the left mouse pointer, drag it over. Again, you have to have a video file or a photo file to bring in a, a, a sound effect or a sound recording. So now all you gotta do is again, make sure the chain links are unchained. Left click the photo file or video file and either hit delete or right click and then delete selected and then just drag that, drag that over where you want it I know I want it right at the end so here's the two effects there's your two effects now all you have to do is Finish your video, add whatever sound effects, whatever music you're wanting to put in, and you add music the same exact way that you just saw me add these effects. Click in copyright free music and find the music you want on YouTube, and you're good to go. Drag it in the same way, put it in the timeline the same way, cut it the same way, trim it the same way. It all works the same regardless of whether you're using audio, if you're using uh sound recordings if you're using music recordings anything like that it all works the same even on other programs not just davinci it all works the same you just might have a different step or two to get the music in or the sound effect in and get it exactly where you want it, it might be a little different per program keep that in mind and then that's all there is to adding sound effects and everything so i hope you enjoyed this video it's another one that i've been wanting to do for a while and i haven't done it and now I, now I have. And I hope it's helped you a little bit. And we'll see you in the next one. I hope you enjoy. Thank you so very much.